Hey up everybody. I'm just uh, ticking a few things off on my list of things I've got to do on this micro lathe. Uh, I've just hit a bit of a snag really on this next part that I'm doing and it's this choke, this three jaw choke. Uh, I got it second hand, I don't know, I picked it up from a car boot sale or somewhere but I found out while trying to set something up in the choke I found out that one of the jaws is, um, well, all the jaws are bell mouthed at the front, but one in particular, number three jaw, um, I can get a feeler underneath it. I'm going to uh, make a fixture for the tool post and try and put my die grinder on it, my very small die grinder, and see if I can. Uh, grind the jaws of the choke. I'll show you what I mean. Um, I've got a three thou feeler and look at that it's going right up there and then when I try a six thou feeler it's still going in at the front. So this jaw, I, f I found out that this jaw I think it's worn in the slide way so it's lifting further when it's clamping. So uh, really I'm trying to make a silk purse out of a sow's ear here but I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a go. What I'm gonna do then I'm going to uh, I'm gonna make a fixture and just here I've got my little die grinder with various grinding tools. If I make a fixture to win me tool post here and put this little die grinder in I'm going to see if I can just tittle these jaws out to make them true. Uh, I know what you're saying but but there's going to be nothing clamped in them. Yeah I know all that. Um, so what I'll try to do then the jaws are that long but the only grip on the fur on, on the front portion so I've made this steel ring up to clamp in the back where the clearance is in the jaws so that's putting pressure on the jaws as though there's a workpiece in clamp that up solid then I've just got to grind up to let me get a pointer I've just got to grind up to that position where the actual jaws are serrated and then the rest of that is just clearance at the back. So I've got nothing to lose really, you know I can either scrap it now or see if I can uh, attempt to make it better. I'm not going to say it's going to be successful until I've give it a try so we'll see. Right, just briefly then, before I go any further with this, I've given this chuck another coat of looking at. And this number three jaw is quite bad. The, number one and number two have probably got the clearance in that they would have had when this chuck were made. <clears throat> but number three, for some reason, is quite bad. You can probably see that. The jaws are actually hardened, so I can't really do anything with the jaws, so it's probably the body of the slide that's worn. So, what I'm going to do, I've got this super strong super glue here, supposedly holds four tonnes. I've got this brass shimming, ah, USA foil, 
shim stock brass. It comes in two, three, four, five, ten, and fifteen thousandths. So I've already cut four thou and a five thou strip. The five thou won't go in, but the four thou will slide in. Uh, just so by the time I've got a layer of super glue on the back um, you know that that should make a big difference well it might it should do I'm not saying it will do now I've got to put some in both sides and I've got to get it on that front face there on both sides so Rather than throw a chuck away, I'll spend a bit of time on it and see if I can uh, make, make this better. I mean, at the end of the day, once that shim stock is super glued into there, and once the jaws are in, it's encapsulated. So the jaws are just going to slide up and down, because you can't reverse these jaws. So, as long as the super glue holds, you know, secures it, the jaw should slide over it. So I'll cut two uh, strips of 4 thou shim and get them super glued on. One. Right, what I'm going to attempt to do, I'm going to put some super glue on that flat face, on the forward faces, I'm going to put the um, shimming on uh, and this super glue gives you 60 seconds to position things it's not instantaneous this so I'm going to put some uh, Vaseline on these faces of this uh, parallel so that that doesn't stick to the super glue and then when I get them in position I'm going to put the parallel onto the faces and then I'm going to put that in the vise, clamp it up until it goes off. I've took the clamp off, the parallel that was clamping it. I've done a bit of detailing work with a needle file, cleaned all the excess glue off. Just took a light skim across the face of that brass and uh, I'm now ready for trying the jaw in. Try and get that in because I can't get to it because camera's in my face. Well do you know, sometimes plans don't always come to fruition do they? Uh, you won't believe that 4 thou shim was way too much for the play that's in this jaw. Even though I could get the 4 thou shim in the jaw, when it was glued on, it was too much. So, what I've ended up doing, I've took a complete shim here, off this side, and I've cut back the other shim... I've done it this in stages so I could get the correct fit. I've cut it back in stages and I don't know if you can just see that on camera. There's about a quarter of an inch of that shim still glued in where I've cut it back. 
and that's the amount that's needed just to take the play out of this jaw. I can now get the jaw in and it's a, a tight fit. So I think what I'll do just for now is uh, continue with this, grind it up and then just be on the lookout for a, a better choke. I'll put this piece of bar in and clamp it up. On number three jaw, I can't get that feeler cage in now. It's unbelievable. So I'm just wondering whether to grind them or not. I think I will grind them. Or will I? Hmm. Let me think about that. Well, I'm back in lathe and uh, I've got a tooth out feeler here. And I can't get a tooth out feeler in that jaw anymore. It's unbelievable how much shim I've put in there and uh, it's made all that difference. But when I start the lathe up, the actual bar is the chuck's running dead true but the bar is slightly running out so I will grind it okay here's my setup for grinding these jaws I've put this uh, disc in the back I've clamped the jaws up I've got my uh, die grinder set in the tool post with a tiny um, grinding wheel in uh, the, my grinding wheel is going to spin that way and my chuck's going to spin this way um, so let's see how it goes Well I think that's it for this one then, uh, I think the moral of the story there is uh, can you make a silk purse out of a sow's ear? Well maybe not, I've probably made half a silk purse out of a sow's ear. Anyway it's turned out not too bad but I will be on the lookout for another three jaw chuck. So if you found that useful, interesting etc etc Give me a thumbs up and subscribe, I'd appreciate that. And I'll catch you next time then. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.